You're listening to an extra hour of the Dean Blundell Show online at edge.ca. Um, yeah. Anyway, they wanted me to do it, and I just wasn't really, I, you know, I love having a shaved head, but I was in the mood for really long hair. But they, you know, kept talking to me about it and finally made me feel like I think it would be an important thing to do. Did they pay a good cake for it at least? No, but <laughs> they, I think, you know, being on the cover of this magazine and having it be in museums around the world is, and it being an iconic photo shoot made it, you know, kind of just... It was worth it for sweet. you. Yeah. So have other women tried to sort of do what you do with the shaved head? Because it doesn't work for most <laughs> women at all. <laughs> It definitely works for her, though. Yeah, big time. Yeah, because yeah, most women, you're like... you guys off, I could tell. No, I was actually kind of expecting it. because oh, you did? I, Well, I've always... Well, not... not it actually, it didn't throw me off, because se- I have. I've seen a lot okay. of your work. I, I, I really enjoy porn, and I really enjoy... <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, I, and I really enjoy you in porn. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I, I like that. You're, he you're, does. You know yeah, what? He's, he's very honest about yeah. his... Uh, he, he likes you, and he like likes adult films. And I always he, felt like... He films I, his own, actually. Well, it has been a couple years. I'm getting a little old, and I can't do the things I used to be able to do, but... Thanks. No, it's 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 it was sort of always one of my like I, I've always I've never been ashamed to talk about porn. Whereas That's you know cool. it's one of those things where I think still people are for some reason, even yeah. though yeah. it's like the biggest industry in the world. Yeah, sure. I yeah, I have no issues talking about it. I sometimes I forget that some people do. Do your folks yeah. know that you do it? Uh huh. Yeah, and they're cool. You know, I'm sure they wouldn't be like, oh, I would love if my daughter was a porn star, but they've I think after this many years come to realize that it's like. I'm okay. Yeah. Well, if, if they knew how hot you'd get, I bet they'd be okay with it. It, it might be like strange though, if one of her like uh, army buddy fathers was like, you know, I saw uh, your daughter and a yeah. baseball bat. I know. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know if that's ever happened. He's never said it, but I mean, you know, my dad's really religious. Is he what kind of religion? Is Mormon. Your dad? Your dad's wow. Mormon. I was raised Mormon. Mormonism my is no, a nord of, I, I can tell you this because yeah. I, I came from a born again Christian home. My brothers are Reverend, I, so yeah. I understand all religions mostly, and I think they're all bogue. <laughs> Mormonism could be the one of the funniest ever. It's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. Like, like well, I'll, I'll tell you. A guy named Joseph Smith traveled around porking a whole bunch of rods in the back of a caravan, and he told everybody it's because God told him to, so it was okay. And then, uh, they, oh, and he gave me these magic books called the Book of Mormon now, so we're uh, uh, everybody come with me and give me a bunch of money, and we'll build a big choir. Yeah, you're like told that you know if you follow the commandments that when you die you could be you could go to three different kingdoms and then you know have which ones were they wives I think I think they're called like celestial, telestial, and something else. Celestial, telestial, and belestial. <laughs> I think after uh, watching some of Belladonna's uh, films, it's the fourth kingdom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fourth I, I kingdom's ass. <laughs> I mean my own. <laughs> the best one. So are you? Are they both Mormon? Both your your folks? My both were, and then my father and mother split up when I was fourteen, and yeah. my mom just kind of. Did they? Going. Why did they split up? Uh, you know, I think my dad was just really kind of checked out. My mom and dad have a lot of kids. There was like, you know, seven at the time. Oh, one There's was bound now. to be a porn star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what they say. One in seven kids is bound to be an adult film star. And they also say one in three kids are in the world are Asian. And I, I have three kids, so I was really crossing my fingers at the third. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's getting hot in here. Um, so, did you? Did, are you still religious? Do you believe in religion? No, I don't practice organized religion. I kind of like to think for myself. Mm-hmm. Are you? So you're not. You're not Buddhist. You don't. You don't. Uh, no, I mean, I. I definitely feel spiritual. Mm-hmm. You know, but I don't. I don't know. I don't have any like routines or rituals. Or you seem to be free of uh, most of the tra- entrapments that surround adult film stars. You seem very calm, very easy. Liberated with do, like just. Do you drink? Yeah. Do you do you do drugs? I, do you do any um, of that stuff? I do like to have a glass of wine or uh, a nice beer. Do you? I um. We have pretty I, good beer up here too. I I love a good beer. Yeah. Do you really? But I don't drink. Like I don't remember the last time I got drunk. Really? You know, yeah. Oh. This is what I'm saying. She's not typically no. really, like Mary <laughs> Carey. Can't remember the last time she was sober, <laughs> and she's the first to admit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know. She's she went wild. to rehab so she could get off the hard alcohol. She said, <laughs> yeah. "Wow." <laughs> um, and the hard amazing. drugs, but you don't. Do you smoke no, weed? Do you um, yeah, I like to. Do you? Yeah. Do you, do you have a license? Like, because you live in California. I right? should have a license, but I don't. I always get a kick out of the. They showed these. Uh, these. This thing called. Uh, 
Super high me. You ever see that? that no. And no, it's not about <laughs> super <laughs> high yeah. me. Me, I got it. <laughs> yeah, the super high me. <laughs> I broke the super high me. <laughs> uh, but the, the, there's this thing called super high me. It's a it's a documentary, and it's actually really funny because they've got uh, these these uh, these the, these medicinal marijuana shops, and yeah. they're everywhere. And you go in, and there's a doctor that's dispensing the weed. And on, on and, and and they've got like all the weed that you can get. So it's the only time you get medicine called you know the purple dragon or yeah. or, or Jimmy Spliff Kush. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Just wanted some Tylenol. I, yeah. <laughs> you know. But in, but can, do you get do you do you get yours legally? Do you grow yours? <laughs> no, I don't get mine legally. And no one does. <laughs> I get mine yeah. from a girl who has a card. Oh, do you really? Yeah. So she'll go and get and then sell what she has. Do a lot she of people just, do that? I mean, she's not like do. She does it for a favor for me. Oh, does she really? Yeah, she's not doing it to everybody. But that's as hardcore as you get, right? Just the the yeah. weed. You don't I had my. Else? I was wild Were you? when I was young. Like what? What kind of wild? I did every drug. Did you? Yeah. What was the worst drug you did? Heroin. You did. Yeah. Did you shoot it? Yeah. For really? how long? I was like fifteen. Yeah. And I, you know, it was all. It's kind of stupid, right? You're like, oh, it was the safest way you could do it because, you know, they were all brand new needles. And it was with a woman who was much older than me who, I don't know what she was thinking, but she just took me and a couple other girls and we, like, had a little nice girl night at her house. And then we all did that. And it was maybe three or four times, but... But you look, it's the worst. What happens when you do? I mean, that's the worst. It? Like, I can't. I can never imagine doing that today. I yeah. like. I must have just not cared about myself at all. You know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. But it's good like, that you recognize that at a young oh, age yeah. that wasn't for you. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think I just. Oh, being a Mormon is crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, Mormons turn into porn stars and heroin addicts <laughs> at fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Mormonism sounds like an awesome party. <laughs> no, but did, did, when you when you did, did it make you what did heroin feel like? Because I've often said I, heroin would have to be the greatest drug in the world because I know so many rock stars and athletes yeah. that have chucked their lives away because it feels so good. It. I mean, yeah, you just feel like you just kind of melt away and. And sell it, baby. I mean, it, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else it, is good about heroin? It, I, I can't. It's like very euphoric, but yeah. but there was something inside of me that was just like, Not I don't good. know. I, luckily, I have that part of me that knows. Okay, yeah. this is enough. You know, what's weird is I was recently at a at an event and there were some people doing doing blow. And I've never done it, never will. Mm-hmm. I just know that that's just not something I can do. Mm-hmm. I, I like weed. I like to drink, and that's as far as I go. Yeah. And and it was weird because it's almost like you, you watch people do it and you go. It's it looks dirty. It looks <laughs> it, it looks like you shouldn't be doing it. You know what I mean? Well, when else would you like say pick your nose and then put the, your finger in someone else's nose and then have them do the same? Because you're yeah. sharing that little doll, rolled up dollar bill. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. There, That part of it, even to me, is like that's yeah. enough for me. I don't need that. <laughs> I yeah, have yeah, my yeah, own yeah, straw. If you yeah. got, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I brought I brought a lunch yeah. box. Uh, I brought a, a Kool Aid jammer. I'll just use the straw. <laughs> Here, I just blew my, my nose. Kool-Aid. I'm gonna rub it in your face. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Kool Aid jammer. <laughs> yeah, just, it, it, some of them just look like you shouldn't be doing it, and you, yeah, I can understand that you would feel a little dirty or weird. I look back on it now, and I'm like, wow, it just isn't appealing to me at all. No, like I don't know. I like I care about myself too much. It's an extra hour of the Dean Blundell show, completely uncensored. <laughs> okay, well, not really. We wanted it to be, Very but our fucking bosses gave us this yeah. bullshit about yeah. company standards. What a bunch of fucking cocksuckers, huh? It's very sexual. Fucking CA.